All right. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Um, so uh, real quick, because uh, I mentioned recording, um, I do have the orientation up on the playlist I shared in Slack. Um, I still need to put that into, um, what's it called? The Canvas homeroom page. So you guys can find it. It's a little bit easier you guys to navigate through. Um, I still have to upload the recordings from yesterday as well, like for the study group recordings. Uh, that should be up today. Um, I just had to kind of process it a little bit, um, just take some time at times. And I want to make sure you guys have access to it. Um, but I'll make sure to have that there. And then of course, this recording that's being recorded right now, this will be up on that playlist too. And the idea there, that way you guys can just watch things through. Um, sometimes I break it up by like phase, but I think, you know, depending what how people feel, I might just keep it as one big playlist of just like a continuation of all the recordings we've had throughout the next like, you know, four or five months, um, which will be kind of fun to see all the <laughs> recordings going through. Um, but uh, yeah, so a couple things I wanted to kind of mention about like just program wise of how things uh, kind of go forward. Uh, I saw a couple people kind of chatting a little bit about um, like the topics, like what topics are going through. Um, that's one thing I think I'm going to start doing in the homeroom page now that you guys all know where that is, um, where I will say like what topics you should be covering this week. But in general, it's about three, four topics each um, week. Okay, so I say like each week versus like a per day or something like that, because a lot of times, well, first of all, we'll do like about um, a phase per month. And some of the phases are a little bit smaller. Some of the phases are a little bit bigger, at least in topic wise. Um, I think content wise, they're about the same size, which is like some topics are a little bit smaller. So sometimes I'll say like, hey, we're actually going to do five different phase or topics this week. But that's because two of those topics are really like really short and they're basically related. So I'll say, oh, we're just gonna do those together. Um, and then our study groups, which we're in right now, is going to be um, more of a focus on like, because we, there's no way for us to go through essentially the whole topic in one hour study group or even an hour and a half study group. It's just kind of impossible. I mean, you could definitely do it, but I think you would lose some of um, the benefit of actually having a study group. Um, so I, what my goal for you all for the study group is for me to emphasize the parts of the topics and such that I think, oh, this is really important that I think you should focus on, um, or I might add extras on top of the topics on there. So the expectation usually is, um, like I mentioned today, is like, hey, if you haven't gone through topic two already, like uh, make sure you skim through it at least, you know, make sure you know these parts, I'd be familiar with the language. Um, but kind of my goal is like, you know, you might not have finished the topic that we're gonna talk about today, um, but, you'll have, be at least a little bit familiar. And then if you have finished it, um, if anyone remembers back, you know, like, you know, um, back in school and stuff like that, when you had like a chapter and you're oh, we're gonna talk about chapter or whatever today, you could sometimes just get away with just like coming to class and not reading the chapter, but you benefit so much more having read the chapter, even if you don't completely understand it and then coming in and say, oh, okay, that's what that was going on there. So um, that's kind of like my idea of like um, what I wanna bring to you all. Does that make sense? Cool. Right. Any questions about like that structure or um, what to look for in the future? No? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, if there's ever a confusion though too, like what are we talking about today? Like feel free to message out. It's like, hey, like Victor, you didn't tell us what we're talking about today um, and I'll do my best. Uh, but today we're gonna kind of finish up a little bit of topic one because uh, because topic one um, is quite long. In fact, let me just ask for a quick, quick poll. Thumbs up, who has reached the Macbeth section? Um, the little mini project for topic one. Okay, give me a thumbs down, not to like be like, oh, thumbs down, but like thumbs down if you haven't reached it yet. Okay, you, and you saw, I like I like the enthusiastic uh, thumbs down. Like, no, I have not finished it. Um, and that's totally cool. Um, I honestly, section topic one is quite large. Um, so I wouldn't expect necessarily everyone to finish it completely. Um, the Macbeth section, the mini project, I will let you know is that it's not graded. Nothing is great except for the phase project. And even then it's a pass fail, remember? Cause like, it's not like it's like, oh, you got a 95%, you know, or 85% like that has no meaning of the assessment area. But uh, those mini projects like the Macbeth one are really for you to have that good practice, like just to practice things out. So if you feel that you like, you've done the Macbeth project and you're just not quite getting it all the way, like don't feel like you have to finish it to like, be successful. It might just be like, okay, like there's a few areas that I don't quite understand. Let me reach out, you know, maybe ask other people, maybe become the office hours and say, hey, I'm having trouble with this part or like, I don't quite understand what they're asking here. Um, and we can work that through. 
Um, but it's a good thing for, to practice and everything. Okay.